So you've got a little bit of body fat on you, but you're looking to build muscle at the same time and you're not sure if it's possible and you want to know how to do it. Well, I'm here to tell you today how you can build muscle and burn fat at the same time. Hey everyone, my name's Paul Wadsworth, the founder of IntraLifestyle.com and I'm here to help you live with greater health, happiness and freedom. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing and sharing it with someone else that may benefit. With so much confusion out there in the health and fitness industry, it's very easy to understand why you may be confused and not know what's right and what's wrong. So I'm here to help you clear those myths up and give you some advice that actually works. So the main area of confusion when it comes to wanting to build muscle and burn fat at the same time is based on two assumptions. Assumption A is that you need to be in a calorie surplus to put on muscle and assumption B, you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose fat. Well, it's not actually completely true. You can build muscle in a calorie deficit. And let me explain why. Calories are basically just energy for our body. And we actually store energy within our bodies already. So someone that is overweight is carrying energy in their body fat. You also saw glycogen in the muscles and the liver, which is a body's immediate source of energy. And we've only got a limited supply of that. But if you're someone that is overweight and you're carrying quite a lot of excessive body fat, you actually can use that as an energy source to fuel your workouts and to fuel your lifestyle. Okay, so if we know that we can get some of our fuel from our body fat, where does that leave us in terms of building the muscle if we're in a calorie deficit? Now, there are three main factors when it comes to building muscle and burning fat at the same time. Number one is protein consumption. Now, research studies have found that approximately 0.8 grams to one gram per pound of body weight of protein is enough to be able to build muscle and start the process of protein synthesis. So you can actually get that amount of protein while still being in a calorie deficit. It's just based on how you diversify your macronutrients and how you share up the foods that you're consuming. The second factor to consider is doing resistance training. Now resistance training is gonna stimulate the muscle and actually creates micro tears within the fibers and then the protein that you're consuming is gonna help repair that so that the muscle will grow stronger and repair. Now obviously this requires energy in order for it to happen and occur. And then the third factor to consider is being in a controlled calorie deficit. So you don't wanna drastically reduce your calories so that lots of weight's coming off. In order to build muscle, you need to be getting adequate protein, you need to be doing the resistance training, and you need to reduce your calories gradually so that you've still got enough energy to start the process of protein synthesis. And that's why it's easier for overweight people to build muscle and burn fat at the same time because of the vast supply of body fat. It can be used as a fuel to fuel the process of protein synthesis as long as you're consuming enough protein to do so. And there's definitely some other things to consider which I'll mention now, which will help in building muscle and burning fat at the same time. So high intensity interval training is gonna allow your body to hold on to lean muscle and it's also gonna burn off a lot of body fat. So this type of cardiovascular exercise is very effective for maintaining your muscle and shedding off that fat. The next thing to consider is to look at the bigger picture. So when we say you can build muscle and burn fat at the same time, we don't necessarily mean in the exact moment in time. So think of it as a day or a week or a month. If you're on a small calorie deficit and you're hitting your protein numbers and you're working out, you can start to lose fat and you can start to build muscle, but don't think of it in the exact moment. Think of it as a lifestyle as long-term over a period of time. And then the last one, as we've briefly discussed, is that body fat can actually be used as a fuel. So the fuel from your body fat can actually be used to drive the process of protein synthesis, which requires energy. Now the fat itself is not gonna build the muscle, but it's used as an energy to start the muscle building process. As I've already discussed, overweight people will be able to build muscle and burn fat a little bit easier, and there's also some other people that will benefit from that. So if you're brand new to training, or if you haven't trained in a while in terms of lifted weights, you're actually gonna be able to find that it's a little bit easier. 
And it's not to say if you're more experienced and you have less body fat that it's impossible, it's just gonna take a little longer and you'll have to do it more gradually. Another common question relating to the same thing is how do I lose belly fat and build muscle at the same time? So where you hold your body fat on your body, that's actually irrelevant for this, so the same principles apply. If you're doing resistance training, if you're consuming enough protein and you're in that controlled calorie deficit, it's gonna help you burn fat wherever that may sit on your body. For some people it will be on the belly, others it might be around the hips and the legs, it could be on the lower back, some people hold it in their face. But gradually reducing body fat is gonna to start to come off your body where it wants to. So there you have it, some tips to help you build muscle and burn fat at the same time. So if you're looking to do that, you now know how to do it and you can crack on and get some results. Now if you are looking to take your health and fitness to the next level and you're looking for some professional coaching and guidance along the way, then you can hit the link below this video and sign up for a free seven day trial for my online coaching. And signing up for the seven day free trial, there's absolutely no strings attached to it. So I've been doing this for a long time now. I've worked with hundreds of clients from all over the world and I'm here to help people live with greater health, happiness and freedom. And once again, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and sharing it with someone else that may benefit. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.